They say that within 30 feet a human can outrun an Indy car. To put that myth to the test, the team headed to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. They even brought in a professional race car driver for the challenge. Adam took the chance to get behind the wheel of the fastest car on earth. After a few practice runs, he got a feel for how the car works. Then it was time to get serious. Jimmy and the race car took off at the same time, both gunning for the finish line. At first glance, it looked like a tie. But in slow motion, the footage showed the race car edged out the win, just 0.2 seconds faster than Jimmy. That meant Jimmy was close. There was still a chance. But in the following rounds, Jimmy didn't win once. In fact, the gap kept getting wider. Then it was Adam's turn to drive. Jimmy became the race car driver this time, and they even installed a launch booster at the starting line to give him a bit of an advantage. Go! <laughs> Once again, the race car won, just by a nose. In the second round, Adam finally won a heat, but after that, he lost every single one. To take things up a notch, they brought in an Olympic sprint champion to race against the professional driver. As Adam gave the start signal, who do you think won? Close. The race car beat the runner by nearly half a car length. But Wallace, the sprinter, said he was just getting warmed up. Without taking a break, he jumped into round two. This time, the car won by a full car length. In the final round, Wallace ditched the launch booster, choosing instead to use his signature starting technique. Even Jimmy couldn't help but shake his head. Wallace didn't stand a chance. Sure, he launched ahead of the car at first, but within a second, the race car unleashed all 700 horsepower and shot forward like a rocket. There's just no competing with that kind of power. So in the end, the myth was officially busted.